the isolated Dutch village of Hoogie, located on the outskirts of the town of Wiesp, has only 152 inhabitants who seem to be living a normal life. They eat, sleep, walk around the village and visit shops and restaurants. But in reality, every single one of them is being constantly watched. That's because Hoagie is actually an elder care facility, and all its residents suffer from dementia. Dementia Village takes care to maintain the illusion that life is normal for the residents. The 152 patients have no idea that their home is a mental institution, nor that their living quarters are constantly monitored. Within the village, residents do not live in wards and there are no long hallways or corridors. Instead, they live in groups of six or seven to a house, with one or two caretakers. The homes are furnished according to the time period when the residents' short-term memories stopped functioning properly, the 1950s, 1970s, and the 2000s, all accurate down to the tablecloths. The residents are allowed to freely roam the grounds and admire its landscape trees and fountains, or rest on the benches. Caretakers are stationed all over the village. 250 full and part time nurses and geriatric specialists wander the town as cashiers, grocery store attendees, post office clerks, and more. Finances have simply been taken out of the equation, as everything is included in the family's payment plan. The only residents admitted at Hoagie are those suffering from severe cases of dementia or Alzheimer's disease. The facility has been running at full capacity since 2009, and new residents are only taken in when a current one passes away. Primarily funded by the Dutch government, Hoagie costs slightly more than $25 million to build. The cost of care works out to $8,000 per month, but the government subsidizes the residents. In Holland, everyone pays into the state health care system during their working years. That means living in Hoagie does not cost more than a traditional nursing home would. And although it seems like a more benevolent version of the Truman Show, it is showing signs of success. The residents require fewer medications, they eat better and live longer as well. According to Yvonne, a similar setup could certainly work in other parts of the world. Oh, yeah.